But we do begin with this house explosion that rocked a West Side Detroit neighborhood. Thank you so much for joining us this noon. Debris from that explosion, it flew more than 30, mi 30 yards, I should say, in this neighborhood. Fortunately, the family that lives in that house was not home at the time of the blast. Nick Monticelli has been out since nearly this explosion happened near the Livernoy and Eight Mile area. Nick, do we know what went wrong here? What caused the explosion? So the arson investigators from the Detroit Fire Department say this certainly was some kind of gas explosion. They think it's natural gas, but as you can see, there are still a lot of crews here from DTE and from the arson team trying to figure out exactly what that was. And I know it's kind of difficult to make all of this out, but that was a house at one point. So if you look carefully beyond those, those guys standing there, if you can even see it, the front porch of the home used to be there. Then we can zoom out a little bit. This is portions of the home. The front door landed over here about 30 yards away. My bed was shaking. It hurts. Firefighters will tell you they have lost count of how many fires they have fought, but explosions? These don't happen very often. People heard it three or four blocks away. There's people here from two blocks up all the way down by eight mile. They said they heard it. And I, like I said, I thought somebody had hit my house. Leah Smith lives right next door to the home that no longer exists. She's the one who called 911. I just hope, was hoping that they would get here to save my house because their house is blown up and there's, there's nothing left. <laughs> and I'm just so glad. I, I'm just so glad I made it out. Arson investigators are still working to figure out exactly what happened, but say it is safe to say natural gas was involved. How it filled the home and how it sparked has yet to be determined. Fortunately, the couple who lives here wasn't home. And even though this is devastating, it can all be replaced. I called her and she was just crying and I said, stop crying. I'm so glad you're alive. Kay Muhammad's sister is the one who lives here. She was at the hospital with her husband. Otherwise, they would have been asleep when their home exploded. If it wasn't for them going to the hospital for my brother-in-law um, issues, um, they just would have been in there. And I can't even imagine that. Oh, it's all the blessings. <laughs> angels all around them. You believe that. Uh, it's looking live again at what used to be their home. Part of the problem in all of this is that when fire crews got here, engine 44 was one of the first engines on scene. There was still an active gas leak, so firefighters had to try to put the fire out, put multiple pieces around this area out that were still on fire. And then when DTE got here, they really didn't have access to shut the gas off, so they actually had to cut into the road here. This is on Monica Street on Detroit's west side. They had to cut one access line over there, and you can see over here they just finished patching a hole in the ground where they dug another access point. So this has been quite an operation all morning long. Again, this happened at 3.30 in the morning. It is now past noon, and they are still working on this. We are live here on Detroit's west side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Well, who would think that they'd be thankful to have complications from a surgery, but that ended up being what saved their life. Right.